Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we're playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 in our Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself campaign. Now, Germany is doing silly things with their troops, probably because they're going, hey, I thought we were going to fight Poland soon, and that's been taken out from under them. <clears throat> so we're slowly advancing while we have the upper hand. At least as best we can. <laughs> um, I reckon we upgrade our tanks again. How are they doing in combat? Our tanks can pierce their tanks, their tanks can pierce ours. Piercing of 16. Piercing of 15. What's the armor on our tanks like? Well, what's the armor on our division like, actually? Six. Alright, so that's gonna be trash. I reckon we should probably upgrade our tanks to be, um... Tank destroyers. Let's do that with that research slot when it frees up. Okay, it looks like Germany's starting to get into position. So I reckon we hit stop. No, they still have lots of holes. We are starting to get pushed back though. No, we'll do it. Put them back on low aggressiveness and pushing forward. Because all this is still not defended. Romania is doing nothing to help. We're in a war together. Why would you not want military access? Italy's joined the Axis. Oh, that's going to open up another front. But Danzig or War should fire. And then they'll be in with the Allies. And that should give us a bit of a chance. Oh, Germany's pushing in. Cut them off before they can get too far in. Let's pump out some... Uh, do we want to pump out low experience troops? Probably at this point. Should we just lose a tank? I think we might have. What I'm gonna do is push these repairs to the top. They won't, oops. They won't get started unless there is no combat there. And I'd rather quickly repair the ones that are damaged and keep building new ones. Sure, we'll take a land lease. Oh, I do not like this at all.
At least the front AI. Journey, um, Poland refused. <laughs> Doesn't look like. There we go. Poland's joining the Allies. Germany's going to be fighting on three fronts now. Or sort of two and a half fronts. So that should mean they start pulling troops away. Let's bump speed up because we're mainly just watching these fights. Cool. Better guns. Why were we not working on Doctrine? That was very foolish. We're still reinforcing, so I'm not that keen on bumping that up. No, we won't bump that up just yet. Let's cut off these four divisions. God damn it, they called Italy in. Uh, no train, no divisions in training that are really up there, and they're all getting pretty under supplied now. So we'll reduce those. We've pocketed three divisions. Um. Let's get a bonus to air superiority, I reckon. <laughs> Italy's joined our war, but... Oh no, they have joined the war against France. Don't stand on Poland's border, please. Okay. <laughs> we should probably do our Entente of our own. We don't need the internal defences at the moment. Well, let's get our faction started. We're doing pretty well. Um, Troops aren't losing too much XP. We got a lot of um, a lot of green ones from the ones we spat out early. Poland wants to give us equipment. Won't say no to that. I will say no to non-aggression pacts, but we're not giving up on this. Raj wants to give us stuff. No, we don't want a non-aggression pack. Poland. They took our fort. Those bastards. We're winning some fights, we're losing some fights. We're mostly losing fights, though. Germany's losing a lot more. We just need to be the ones that make them capitulate. I reckon they're probably fighting us more than they're fighting... They've probably got the most troops on our border is what I'm trying to say. Or most of their troops. Trying to cut Poland off. 
pretty unsuccessfully. And we're starting to get a bit pushed back. Well, here at least. going to cancel those four, free up some more equipment, we're getting some of our forts back, we're also losing some forts down here. We've got a ton of combat experience. Maybe we do need those internal forts. Really need the allies to hurry up a bit, I think. We're starting to get pushed back pretty damn hard. Um, we can probably pull some factories off tanks. Let's buff our recon companies just because that won't cost us more equipment to have. We have pocketed troops. Uh, painful. Don't retreat into them. Alright, we're gonna have to abandon that section. Hello the True ATX, how you doing? Really don't want to give up those forts. Let's get some decryption. Germany's actually holding really well. Hey Romania, get in our faction. <clears throat> I 
Uh, alright. Let's start doing some of these defensive ones. Where is the state's map mode? Go for that one for now. Let's get these troops spat out. And half how many we're training. Can you get the fuck out of there, please? Yeah, we just did Troy TX. I know there's a bit of a delay, but yeah, we got there. Alright, we need to stop our troops advancing for a bit. They need some entrenchment, they need some planning. Let's just pause for a moment. Oh, Poland's actually getting pushed into. Uh, let's have a look at Asia. Japan's doing okay, but not spectacularly. I wish Romania would actually, you know, contribute to the fight by moving their troops in to help. Italy did for the Axis, I don't know why they're not bothering for us. Bastards. Oh, Germany's just smashing through us. Those troops out of there before we have more encirclements. Let's have a look at some numbers. They've got like three or four times our manpower in the war. Allies are pretty matched, but they're not doing a whole lot of fighting. Like, Germany's already pushed France back. France have pushed into Italy a little bit. There's a couple landings. Let's swap them out. Use less artillery get that extra bit of defense, reduce how much artillery we're producing, and produce more guns. Hungary's throwing the fucking axis. Oh, come on, Romania. Why would you do this? 
Yeah, this war is being a struggle. I was hoping that once they declared on the on the allies that they would just pull troops off our borders. But they're actually holding pretty damn strong. Romania, you're gonna have to fucking step up your game, buddy. We're gonna have to pull out of Austria. Probably not that rapidly, though. Get off that line. Just need this to join up. At least Hungary has a lot of undergeared units. Let's switch this guy to army defense. The struggle is real here. I think we've lost a fair few of our... Oh no, we still have most of our border forts. That's good. Can you link that up so I can move this line along? Seriously? Why did that get cancelled? We control... Oh, fuck's sake. Dick move. I shouldn't have bothered with that military focus. Why are there Soviet troops here? What did you do? I put a lot of faith in the Allies. Oh, thank fuck. Give us more guns. We're gonna have to pull some of these troops off. Move these planes back. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I bailed, bailed on the Axis Alliance a little bit too soon. I should have waited till just before Danzigor War. Then I would have had a chance to push out a fair bit. As it stands, we're in a really shit spot. But hey, this is what it's all about. Seeing what works for a nation. But it is time for me to put in a break. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the campaign so far. We're in a bit of a struggle town, but hopefully something will swing in our favour. We'll see. We need Romania to step up their fucking game. We'll see how we go. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.